If there's one skill that every data professional swears by, it's SQL. In this video, I'm gonna share you the exact roadmap that I would take if I wanted to learn SQL in three months before 2026. Look, I have a master's degree in business analytics and I've been working as a data analyst for years in the software as a service tech industry. Plus, I've been teaching SQL through my courses. But I don't want any of that to intimidate you. I promise anybody can learn SQL. By the way, if you wanna learn the basics of SQL, check out my free intro to SQL course below. Look, when I first started out with SQL, I made every mistake possible Possible. I'm talking syntax errors, not applying the SQL to business problems, and even crashing entire Power BI workbooks in production. All because I didn't learn SQL the best way possible. The first time I started learning SQL, I was a grad student getting my master's in business analytics, and I was so scared to start learning SQL. I was like, there's no way that I can actually learn this and do this. And I would get anxiety every time I coded because I always thought it was gonna be too hard and I wasn't gonna be able to do it. But I actually finished the class with a 96. And I'll never forget why I got a 96. It's because I got a question wrong on a test because I forgot to use descending after my order by. But even with a 96 in my SQL class, at my first internship, I choked. One of my first projects as an intern was to go into a Power BI workbook and edit a SQL query by adding a column to the SQL query. That's it, literally just adding one single column and I choked. Because I learned so many basics in my SQL class but never actually applied it to the real world and real business problems and workflows, I didn't even know how to do that. And that's why it's so important to learn SQL by applying it to real business problems instead of just practicing on boring data sets. Because SQL isn't just pooling the data and making different reports, it's the backbone of everything we do in data analytics. It supports all business intelligence tools like Power BI and Tableau. It supports more advanced analytics like Python. And it's the foundation to create metrics and KPIs, key performance indicators, that actually drive the business forward. And for that reason, it shows up in over half of data analytics job descriptions because companies want to hire data analysts who are really good at SQL. It's essential for companies of all sizes in all industries and data analysts of all levels. And I truly believe that it's the secret to all of my career growth. I was able to grow my data analyst career from a $71,000 salary all the way up to a $153,000 salary, all because I got really good at SQL. And not just good at SQL, but applying it to business problems. So here's all my secrets. The first step of learning SQL is truly just learning the basics and getting familiar with different data sets. And here are the core skills that you need to learn. Get your pens and paper ready. Select from where group I have aggregate functions, aggregate functions with group by, date manipulation, string manipulation, Boolean operators, in between, wild cards, arithmetic operators, is null, null handling, coalesce, case, inner joins, order by limit, counting, count star versus count column, data models, data dictionaries, primary keys versus foreign keys, and practicing case studies. Okay, now I'm gonna say them a little slower. Select from where group by having, aggregate functions, aggregate functions with group by, date manipulation, string manipulation, Boolean operators, in between, wild cards, arithmetic operators, is null, Null handling, coalesce, case, inner joins, order by, limit, counting, count star versus count column, data models, data dictionaries, primary keys versus foreign keys, and practicing on business case studies. And I know that sounds like a lot, especially if you're new, but you can actually learn all of these skills in only five hours. In my beginner course, you'll actually master all of these topics and practice them on real business case studies, and you'll be an expert in them in only five hours. So you can grab the link to my beginner course below or find a course that teaches all of those topics. And trust me, applying all of the foundations to real business problems really matters. I made a mistake as an intern once and it was super embarrassing. Actually, this is a different mistake from the first one I shared. So now I'm just realizing how many mistakes I actually made as an intern. I can't believe I didn't get fired from that job. At least I've said too much. <laughs> if you know, you know. So this mistake as an intern was due to counting the wrong things in SQL. I had all the foundations mastered. I knew how to use the count function. I knew how to do count star. I knew how to count all the things in a column. But what I didn't know is when to use which counting mechanism for which type of business problem. So I was basically counting all the times that this thing happened in the database and I just counted that entire column and I accidentally counted a bunch of duplicates. Why? Because I did not use the word distinct. So instead of counting all the distinct times that that it happened, I accidentally overcounted by over four times the amount that the correct answer was. So I embarrassingly sent this report to stakeholders and was like, it was over 2000. And they were like, 
what? That's literally impossible. And then I realized that I severely overcounted because I forgot the word distinct. So sure, my SQL was all right. I used the right count function and I didn't get any errors in my code, but because I didn't think about the business problem and I didn't use the word distinct, I got a completely wrong answer, but that's okay. I learned from it. And honestly, that's half of the battle as a data analyst. During this phase of mastering all the basics and tackling your very first business problems, the most important thing that you need to learn here is to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You're gonna be doing a lot of new things you've never done before. You're gonna be making a lot of mistakes and you just have to get comfortable working through those struggles and challenges. Because learning from your mistakes, moving on and just struggling and Googling and chat GPTing, that's what makes you a really good data analyst. And it's also what's gonna prepare you for the next step. The second phase of learning SQL is what's gonna separate you from all the other candidates. Because guess what? A lot of people are gonna do step one. They're gonna learn all the basics. They're gonna do a few business problems and that's where they're gonna stop. But the next part is where you're gonna stand out. You're gonna take it a step further and learn intermediate SQL and build your own projects because that's gonna show that you know the skills on a deeper level and you actually know how to work through business problems. And trust me, hiring managers love that shit. The intermediate skills that you need to master are joins, case, CTEs, subqueries, set operations, self joins, window functions, optimization, and views and temp tables. And the cherry on top of all of this is that you're gonna use all of those skills to build projects and actually build a portfolio. And that portfolio is gonna be a sales document to get hiring managers to fall in love with you and hire you because it's gonna prove that you can actually do the skills. But we'll go over that a little bit later. In my intermediate course, you'll learn all of these skills, do your first projects and build an entire portfolio that you can use for your job search. Link below. And trust me, I built that course based off of all of my experience as a senior data analyst in tech, my master's degree, and all the six figure jobs that I've landed with this exact portfolio. It's truly based off of what the industry is actually looking for, not just a bunch of academic BS. And in my opinion, my course and portfolio blueprint are actually more valuable than my master's degree was for a job search. During phase two, while you're learning the intermediate skills and really upskilling and building those projects, the most important thing is solving business problems. So in step one, you started just applying your skills to business problems. Now you need to solve full business problems with SQL using those intermediate level skills. Because again, select star from table is not enough to get a job as a data analyst. You have to show that you can actually provide business value. That means finding new insights, helping drive business decisions, creating metrics and KPIs, you know, all those things that leaders and executives care about. And doing a course that's very hands-on on the intermediate level, that's gonna prepare you even more for the on-the-job responsibilities. So that way you won't choke when you have to add a column to a SQL query, like I did in my first internship. The final phase of learning SQL is something I've actually mentioned a few times now because it's really that important. It's the thing that seals the deal and gets you hired. And that's building a portfolio. Everybody keeps talking about building a portfolio. Build a data analytics portfolio, just build a portfolio. But what actually is it? After you watch this video, Video, go check out my video on portfolios. I promise it's gonna break it all down in detail step-by-step. Step. Portfolios are super important because everybody nowadays has a SQL certificate. And guess what? Hiring managers don't really care if you have a certificate because it doesn't show anything. It shows that you took the course, but like, do you actually know SQL or did you just take the course and scroll on your phone the whole time? No shade, we've all been there. But if you're scrolling on your phone right now watching this video, get off and pay attention. A portfolio is actually gonna show a piece of work that you've done with your bare hands based on the skills that you learned and bonus points if you choose projects that are connected to the industry that you want to go in. You want to choose projects and build a portfolio that's most aligned with the types of roles that you're targeting because hiring managers will see those projects and they'll be able to envision you on their team, solving business problems that they need solved. Plus, if you don't have any experience yet, your portfolio projects will give you something to talk about in interviews. Many times hiring managers will ask you to walk them through a project that you're proud of. And now with your portfolio, you have many examples to share. So the two main reasons why portfolios are so important are one, they serve as experience when you don't have any yet. And two, they show that you can work through challenges and struggle and come out at the end with an answer. And I know this sounds so overwhelming. Thinking about starting with step one, learning the basics to a portfolio, it seems like a lot of work, but I promise anybody can do it if you're motivated and you really want to do it. One of my students was in a healthcare position, completely non-technical and had nothing to do with data analytics. And she just landed her first data analytics job, which is paying her over six figures. And it's a $31,000 salary increase from what she was previously making. And the crazy thing is too, is that it only took her a few months from learning the basics of SQL to landing that job. And I 
will say she worked hard and put a lot of time in, but more importantly, she worked smarter. Instead of getting distracted by all the different tools and all the shiny objects, she doubled down on SQL, learned the intermediate level and built a beautiful portfolio. And she also went for a job that was right in her industry in the healthcare industry. So it was just an easy sell to the hiring manager. She had the skills and she had the industry experience. And she showed all of that through her projects and her portfolio. The bottom line is that if you learn SQL through real business problems, instead of boring tutorials, you can land a data analyst job in three to six months. Especially if you take your portfolio seriously and do these three projects. These exact portfolio projects help me land multiple six figure jobs as a data analyst. So I highly recommend them. And in case you're ready to take your data analytics career seriously, check out my free intro to SQL course below, and then we can build more advanced projects together in my beginner and intermediate courses. Links are in the description. It's literally everything I would do if I were gonna restart learning SQL today. Sending you lots of big data energy your way. See you in the next one. Whew.